Hi, I'm Linda Watson with Cook for Good. I'm here at the International Association of Culinary Professionals with one of my heroes, Dr. Neil Bernard. He's the author of the 21-Day Weight Loss Kickstart. It's with Physicians for Responsible, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, and he is really changing the way Americans eat, and actually people all over the world. Dr. Bernard, thank you so much for being here. Now, you've done a study recently with NIH, the National Institutes of Health. Tell us a little bit about that. The National Institutes of Health gave us a very nice grant to test an entirely plant-based diet for diabetes. Mm -hmm. Now, up until this point, a diabetes diet was don't eat carbs or, or limit mm -hmm. rice, potatoes, bread, all that kind of thing. We said, wait a minute. The healthiest people, the slimmest people, and the people with the least diabetes are, first of all, vegetarians. Mm -hmm. Secondly, people living in Asia where the, the traditional diets are rice and grains and animal mm -hmm. products aren't such a big part of it. In other words, they're eating all kinds of carbohydrate. So we did a head-to-head -head test, a, a vegan diet. And a mm -hmm. vegan is not a person from the planet Vegas. I mean, a <laughs> totally plant-based diet. Uh, compared to the more traditional diabetes diet, the plant-based diet was much more powerful. By that, I mean blood sugars dropped more, cholesterol dropped more, the weight loss was better, even though people weren't counting calories. So it worked really very well. One of the things that you're focusing on is responsible research. I'm here at the International Association of Culinary Professionals. We had a session last yesterday. We had a session yesterday with Dr. Marion Nessel and Melissa Clark, who, who was a reporter from the New York Times. A person who's with the cattle board for the, in Canada said, why don't you ask me for information about healthy diets? And both Dr. Nessel and the reporter said, oh, well, that's ridiculous. I wouldn't ask somebody from a commodities board any more than I would ask a vegetarian. Now, what do you think about having research just completely discounted based on how you eat and based on you following the results of your own research? You know, years ago, people were doing research on smoking. Mm -hmm. And some of the researchers might have even been smokers at the time, and some were not. As time went on, it became really clear that smoking was dangerous, and everybody who was continuing to study the effects of tobacco became a non-smoker. My research team, we come from all kinds of backgrounds, but pretty soon when you see how good a plant-based diet is, you think, why was I ever eating meat? And you end up with a whole research team that pretty much follows the very diet that we have been studying. So I sometimes wonder, how are you, you going to ever have decent research if it's done by people who are still eating cheeseburgers and all that kind of right. junk? It's, it's, it's hard for them to be objective. But every sensible researcher, sooner or later, is probably going to become a vegan when they see what this kind of <laughs> diet does. You're certainly a, a poster child for yeah. that sort of thing, very, very healthy. <laughs>